What's going on guys? Thank you once again for checking out my YouTube channel and I want to welcome you to episode 2 of Chess Principe. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower low carb pizza with barbecue chicken and avocado. So stay tuned as I'm going to take you guys through the steps, the ingredients and all the necessary procedures in order to make this delicious pizza. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I will and stay tuned. First step when it comes to making our cauliflower pizza is gonna be boiling our cauliflower. As you guys can see here, we got three bags of cauliflower rice. So we're gonna do one bag at a time. We're gonna boil in the stove, then we're gonna drain it. So let's go ahead and get the first bag done. All right guys, so now that we got our water boiling, we're gonna get to and start boiling the first bag of cauliflower rice. So just pour it in. If you guys don't have a boiler like this one, you could just go ahead and put it in the water. I prefer to keep it like this in order to keep the rice from getting really wet and making it easier to drain it at the end. We're gonna do one bag at a time, so be patient. All right, so now that we got the first bag boiled, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the second one. Just pour it in. And now we wait. All right, so now that we got the first bag of cauliflower rice done, and we wait for the second one to be boiled, we're gonna go ahead and grab this, and we're gonna drain it. So we're gonna grab our cauliflower rice, Pour it into a thick towel. I like to use a towel. All right, so now that we got the cauliflower out the drain and we're gonna get it squeezed. So we're gonna lay it down in a nice thick piece of nap towel. You're just gonna squeeze it and try to get as much water as possible. The more water you could get out, the better. So drain it as much as you can. As you guys can see, it's starting to look like dough. So you just keep squeezing it, try to get as much water as you can. Here we got the final product. So we're gonna grab this and we're gonna put it into our bowl. All right, now that we got our second batch of cauliflower done, we're gonna go ahead, take this out, start draining it. We're gonna put this back. Once again, we're going to the third and final bag for a cauliflower pizza crust. And now we wait. All right, so now that we got our second bag of cauliflower rice done, we're gonna drain it. So like, just like before, we're gonna bring it out, lay it on top of our towel. We're gonna fold it. Bring it nicely into the middle. Try to drain as much water as you can. Ooh, hot. All right guys, so now we got our last bag of cauliflower 
boiling, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the chicken to speed up the process. So we're gonna take out around a pound of chicken. Right now we're just cleaning the chicken, so we'll just take out any fat that's in it. And we're just gonna do a simple seasoning. We're just gonna use black pepper, garlic, and sea salt. That's all we're gonna use for this chicken. Keeping it simple, as everything else is gonna have so much flavor that we don't wanna add any extra flavor to it. take out all the fat and throw it away. All we're gonna use is black pepper and sea salt. So we're gonna put this back in here. And we're gonna add just Guys, don't be scared to use salt in your food, especially sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt. We're gonna add the black pepper We're gonna mix it all together. Now we add our, our ingredients to so we're gonna mix it all together. Get it nice and mixed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut our onions, purple onions preferably for the chicken. All right, so now we got our chicken ready. We got our onions cut. We're gonna go ahead and mix them all together. So add your onions into your chicken and mix them all in. Fun fact for you guys. You know how you cry when you cut your onions? Well, did you know that if you chew gum while cutting onions, you will not cry? It has the mint of the flavor. It goes up through your nostrils and eliminates the reaction that forces you to cry. Just a random thought. Now let's get back to it. Come on. As you guys can see, our last bag of cauliflower is ready, which means it's almost time to bake our pizza and get to eating. So let's go ahead. We're going to drain this. Same process as before. Nice and ready. We're going to grab our towel. Lay it right in the... Hmm? We're going to put our cauliflower right on top of it. We finally finished draining out all the cauliflower rice. We're going to put it all together into one big pan. almost like mashed potatoes. Cool. All right, so now we got our three bags of cauliflower into our, our bowl. We're gonna first thing first, we're gonna use two eggs. Two eggs. If you're using just two bags, then use one egg. If you're gonna use two bags, use two eggs. So all we're gonna add to this, the condiments is gonna be oregano. Add a little bit of oregano. We're gonna add more black pepper, just a little bit, not too much. And last but not least, once again, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Most important part of this, we're gonna add our cheese. Like I said, pick a cheese that you prefer. Today I'm going with the Italian five cheese. It has a little mix of everything. And it's very important that we're gonna use a cup and a half serving. So pretty much you're using half a cup per bag of cauliflower rice, which is very important. So we're gonna go ahead with one and a half cups. This serving is half a cup, so we're gonna go with three of these. Last but not least, three. So once we get that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix everything together. All right guys, so now we got our pizza dough 
ready to go, we're gonna move on to the final step of making our pizza. Um, I like to use copper pan. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend you invest and get yourself one as it's gonna create the best possible crust. And it's gonna, it's a non-stick pan, so it makes your job even easier. So we're gonna get our pan, we're gonna get a little bit of butter. This is a butter that I use, it's actually vegan, soy free, it's low in fat, low in carbs, probably one of the healthiest ones on the market. We're gonna take out a little piece. And we're gonna spread it in the pan to give a nice crust, crispy crust. Give a nice little flavor to it. Make sure to spread it around. Give it some love. Don't be scared. We're gonna move on to the next step. So now we got our pizza dough, aka cauliflower. Now we're gonna put it all. And then just slowly but steady, smash it up. Try to form it as best as you can. I like my pizza square. These are supposed to be thin pizzas, so make sure you make it nice and thin, which will help you make it even more crispier. So nice and thin. Make sure we get everything in there. All right, so now that we got our pizza crust nice and flat in our pan, I usually like to add just a little bit more oregano on top just to give it a nice little flavor. Okay, now that's ready and we got our oven preheated at 450 degrees. Now that we got our oven preheated, we're gonna go ahead and just let it chill. And we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. All right guys, so now we got our pizza being cooked in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with, with our chicken. So we got our chicken seasoned, we got our onions cut, and now let's go ahead and cook them. Coconut oil. Now we're gonna add our chicken. Ooh. You gotta love that sound. As you guys can see, I like to put my chicken first and then I like to add the onions on top of it to just let them steam and get some of the flavor onto the chicken in order not to burn them at the same time. Check on the pizza. Looking good. Add a little bit more coconut to it. All right guys, so now that our chicken is cooked and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. So we got our chicken, now we're gonna cut in smaller pieces to add into the pizza. Just to make sure the chicken is good. Perfect. So now we're gonna grab our chicken. Put it back with the onions that we just finished cooking. It might not be the healthiest, but it sure tastes good. So you gotta live life, find the balance. So add some to it, don't be scared. It's only barbecue, mix it all together. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so now we got our chicken ready to go. Now we just gotta wait for the crust. Now we got our chicken cut and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and, in the meantime, just go ahead and cut our avocado. Make sure to cut your avocado in small little pieces, cut them vertically. Horizontally. Okay. 
grab a spoon, scoop it all up. Boom. Now you look like a professional. All right guys, so our pizza crust is almost done. We're gonna take it out, add some of the ingredients and put it right back in. First thing first, we're gonna get our tomato sauce. We're gonna add cheese to it. So spread some cheese around it. Next thing we're gonna add is gonna be the barbecue chicken. Lastly, we're gonna add the avocado that we sliced up. So just spread it around. Put a little bit everywhere. We'll add a little bit more cheese. Top it off with some more cheese. And we're gonna take it right back into the oven for around five more minutes. All right guys, so now that we got the pizza ready, time to take it out. Just give this a try. Don't go up based on my opinion. I want you guys to try it. If you guys want to switch things up, it's okay. Just try what works best for you. The most important thing is for you to try. Find healthier options into eating the bad meals that you're used to eating on the weekend. So once again, thank you for checking out another episode with me in the kitchen, Chef Principe. And thank you once again for checking out my YouTube channel. Keep watching. Make sure to subscribe to the link below. And stay tuned as I'll be bringing you more delicious meals in the kitchen. Thank you.